If you work for an enterprise, enterprises are obsessed by security and yet human beings are terrible at it. The more we put information on the internet, the more we lose control over how it's being secured. We all have a digital identity, whether we know it or not. The average person carries and transmits valuable data points 24 hours a day. But just how safe is our data? And what's being done to make sure that all of our information is protected? We live in a world now where everything is connected. Data is collected at every point. It has evolved to information being everywhere, pretty much on everything, and shared around the globe. We broadcast information all day, every day, off the devices and the sensors that you have. As I send you a text message or a Snapchat, who's protecting the data on my phone? Some of the more recent public events that we're seeing involve stealing personal information. The threat actors are targeting different industries, different businesses, um, and even individuals. Cybersecurity to me really comes down to that digital footprint that we're all trying to make sure is secure while we go about our daily lives. We keep seeing the same security vulnerabilities over and over. And that comes down to the common theme of passwords. Yes, you may have had the same password for 30 years, but the world we live in has changed. You can make sure you uh, don't use uh, password123, uh, because I know that one. <laughs> it's known that passwords are not secure. Most people don't rotate them. So if a service is hacked and your account is exposed, they now have potential access to all of the other things you access. And the reason people are out trying to break passwords is to pretend to be a person or to use it to penetrate into financial records, medical records, healthcare information. If you've got a CEO that says, oh, I don't log in myself and I let someone else do it, um, that automatically creates an environment where people think sharing passwords is okay. And it's not okay. Setting that tone at the top is so very important. Corporations have to implement a password management program. We live in a realistic world where there are bad people out there collecting information, waiting to do bad things with the data that's collected. The threat actors are getting much more sophisticated and agile. They're working together. Unfortunately, I think we've, as a society, become somewhat numb to it. If you look at the mega breaches, the problem is substantial. These guys are specialized. They have a ton of incentive, and, and they're really going after high-value assets. I'm a professional hacker. I've been doing this for 15 years. Um, guys, we can, we can turn the lights on. I'm a good guy. Okay. All right. Now, the white hat hacker and black hat hacker and gray hat, it started years ago. Today, we really consider white hat hackers as the good guys of the internet, trying to take and find ways to protect people and help defend them and not cause harm. As you look at security and you think about how do I simulate what might happen, you try and find people that have either played in the environment of trying to penetrate networks or steal passwords or find information, and you turn them loose against the environment in a way that you're looking for those vulnerabilities. So professional hackers are hired by companies in order to break into their own companies to find all the security issues that may exist and tell them how to protect themselves better. They are intentionally coming into your organization to try and find holes within your IT systems. You know, most of the ethical hackers are converted from black hat hackers. Most of them on the white hat side are incentivized that there's no reason to go back onto the other side. We're not here to take and make a name for ourselves or be the rock stars that are out there. We're people who are just curious, trying to learn and make a difference. If someone finds a vulnerability in your code, finds an overflow that you didn't find, then you should pay them. And if you do that, you create the right kind of incentives. You know, I'll always say it's not if you're going to be breached, it's when. DXC is one of the leading independent systems integrators and has one of the largest security services component in it. So what we do in the cybersecurity practice for clients is help them understand how information security impacts their daily operations. And what we do is really make sure that enterprise security is available to a wide range of clients across industry. 
So we come in and offer various services surrounding uh, governance of a information security program and helping them to wrap their arms around their information security practice. If there's no trust in the internet, then folks are not going to want to transact, and they're not going to want to share information, they're not going to leverage the innovations that are out there that really are making our lives better and easier. So how do we get to proactive security, and, and how do we break out of this cycle? Cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. That control of your data, that's the skill set that you need to develop. We all have to increase our security awareness. As we keep evolving some of the security standards and some of the products that are out there, we'll continue to have the kind of conveniences and simple digital services that we all trust.